morning, ladies! Team Heimat are back with yet another magical piece of science. In today's episode, one of us will fish super ultra slow, the other one will fish ultra rapid, and in the end of the day, we will for sure know which one is the most effective. This is up next. Okay, one hour starts now, man. Ah, push on! Push on again! I'm gonna set up a fire and cook a delicious lunch. Oh, oh fish on! Nice one, nice one! We are signing out after one heck of a day. Use your tackle boxes if you don't have a cutting board. Yeah. Because cutting boards are for... Losers. Yes. Today we're going to talk about one of the most underrated factors of pike fishing. And Mille, what is that? That is how fast you reel in your bait. Yes, retrieval speed. You know, so many times in my young age as a pike angler was I heavily outfished by my more experienced friends. I was using the same lures, I did exactly the same thing, I thought, but only later I realized that I were retrieving much faster than they were, especially in cold water, and they caught all the big fish and way more fish than I did. And now, since the water temperatures are dropping, pike are moving in more to more shallow places then today is the perfect day to see if this is actually true so theoretically since the water temps are dropping fast it should be the the slow retrieve that makes you know works best today yeah but for sure but since we haven't tried before since we usually go slow we don't really know maybe you need to trigger them by reading fast and trigger that you know reaction bites yeah we don't know yeah so that's what we're gonna do today and you know what we also have up on the schedule for today we're going to have the most awesome fishing lunch we probably ever have made. Yeah. But I'm way too excited to have Team Heimat finally back out on the water. So let's get this baby on tour. Yeah. I'm so pumped to see the result of today's challenge yeah. because yeah, I've yeah, been like wondering I'm, about this for yeah, such a long time. I'm totally genuinely like, who's yeah. gonna win? Yeah, so let's go out there yeah. and try. Let's do that, man. Boom! <laughs> Throw the water down. All right, so in this box we have the lures that we are gonna use today. And it is a new super cool soft bait from a French company called Fish, with the three eyes, so Fish. And uh, at first glance, these guys may look like just another soft bait, you know? But these guys at Fish are known to put a lot of effort and a lot of thought into all their lures. And this one is no exception. It actually has a lot of super cool features. And I think they will be perfect for today's challenge, because you can fish them super slow as well as super fast. And they look like this. They have a soft plastic body attached to a head from hard plastic. And they have a weighting system so that you can change your weights super easily. And depending on if you want to fish deep or, or shallow or fast or slow, you can change these from plastic to actually sink. You can change these guys. I'm going to show you. You have this kind of stinger system with a snap, which you just take off like that. And then in here, you actually have four blocks. So now it's empty in here, and here we have those four blocks. And you have plastic ones and, and you have sink ones. And if you want to fish really deep, you put four of these sink blocks into here. And if you want to fish really shallow and super slow, you put four of these plastic ones in here. And of course, everything in between, if you want to fish intermediate levels. So how freaking cool is that, dude? You have like separate wading system, depending on how deep you want to fish. So Mila, what do you want to start with? I can fish super slow now. Is that okay for you? I also want to do super slow. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, okay, I'm gonna one start shot. fast. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do the super slow one. Which one should we put? Starting small to get some action? Yeah, yeah, sure. I can start with that pearl color. I just love that. We're fishing pretty deep and muddy area right now. So I can start with a pearl one. Yeah. Fish it super fast. And I will fish this one, similar color when looked from behind, from below. So that would take out the color factor a little bit at least. So I, I think we'll try to stay kind of similar colors today just yeah. to, to make it as scientific as possible but so you do the fast i'm gonna put like maybe one weight into this and then only plastic to be able to fish this one super ultra slow yeah this is gonna be so fun so man. these boys are gonna run on the same depth and but oh different speeds yeah i know oh man okay let's do this man let's freaking do this so this is what i'm gonna start with fishing it on my gator swim bait explorer and daiwa tatula 200 size as always All right, here we go. Uh, we got some wind going on today, boys, and that is really good when you're fishing in the autumn. Yeah, perfect conditions. Yeah, it's really perfect conditions today. So if we don't catch anything, we can't blame it on nothing but ourselves. Yeah, well, 12.8 degrees in water, so fairly cold, but not like super cold. No, exactly. So it's like perfect. both of these could work. Yeah, man, you put the timer on. Okay, one hour starts now, man. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Yeah. 
first test. Le premier lancé del Johnny. Okay, so now this is actually going to be a real challenge for me today because, like I said, I have a tendency to often reel too fast. The only times I have been outfished is because I've been reeling too fast. So, I'm going to stay super slow today. And look at this swimming action. It moves so well, even when I barely move the lure. Look at this, Mille. It's oh crazy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Mine can take speed really good as well. I'm fishing almost three times your speed now. Yeah. We because have I'm a math professional. What is that even? <laughs> <laughs> can you be a math professional? Yeah, you can. Yeah, stay in school, kids. You might end up as Mille, if you're lucky. And before we, we start catching fish, please let us know in the comments down below what will the result be today. We will see a clear difference in retrieval speed or not. Oh, oh fish on, nice one, nice one. Fish on for Mille, first one of the day. On fast retrieve. Oh, it's not a monster, but still a nice one. Boom, shake a bang, bada bing, the fish doesn't come off when it's only hooked to the hook. First fish of the day for fast retrieve. How easy was that, man? I was reeling so fast and I did a micro spin stop and bam. Kabam, that act really triggering that direction bite. Yeah. I and saw that fish take the lure. She's so angry. Yeah. So that's the trick of the, the stinger system on this one. Save the rubber, but still hook the fish. Ah, that's genius. But a decent pike. No, tiny fish at least. No. I've caught a lot smaller fish than this, my dude. First one on the board. Now we have the first one on the board. We can officially was... have coffee, we can officially have lunch. Yeah. Solve so many problems. That's so nice. All right, let's try to catch a bigger one. But that also shows the importance how the spin stop is, guys. I did a micro spin stop. The bait was right in the surface. Smack bam. Yeah, I think really that's combining the best of, you know, triggering the fish, but still giving it time to take. Yeah, but the theory sort of goes along as we thought this far. One small fish, small stupid pike on really a, really a school book example of a reaction strike. I have a fish on! You have a fish on! What the heck? Took it on the drop. I didn't feel it. Because well, I... that's slow at least. That's slow. And that's the thing when not having too much weight on this one, it didn't sink too fast, but it's still moving on the drop. This is sick. This was another level of slow. <laughs> oh, it's actually, I like, you like yours, I would say. Yeah. A little Ooh. bit damaged. Double take, double hookup. <laughs> oh, double man. hookup on blaster shads. Maybe yeah. we need to upsize later today. <laughs> double hookup, baby. Oh, mine come <laughs> off, but we still count it. Two, one. Two, one. That's awesome. Look how she took that one, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, <laughs> awesome pike are just so fun to catch. That's awesome. <laughs> I love pike fishing, dude. And we're, oh, yes. We're already 2-1, two, two fast retrieves. Man, that was also a hammering take. It bumps me that, you know, I didn't feel that take. 2-1 <laughs> and another nice fish. Look how she took that, man. Right on. Oh, buddy boy, what a beauty. Are you ready, baby? You're ready. Now, since you have lost one fish, yep. and I have two in the boat. Yep. That sort of makes me think that the pike seem to bite a little bit more angrier into the ones fished in fast. I'm thinking that when you fish fast, you kind of get the hook set for free. I mean, only that retrieval speed serves kind of as a hook set. Yeah. When, when retrieving super slow, you really need to be fast to set the hook because yeah. you, you're not moving that lure into the mouth of the pike otherwise. It's like with, when trawling. If you troll in high speed and a fish takes, it will hook itself. Yeah. But when trawling in like half a knot of speed, then, uh, then you won't do that. But at least we seem to have found a spot where they are biting like crazy. Man, double takes, that's not every day we see oh, no. one of those. Oh, I'm gonna be ready. It's like when you do squat on the gym, you need to stand wide so that you're ready. Oh, Poisson! Poisson again! My man, man, she came just right here. How freaking cool was that? I'm not gonna film you with that one. How freaking <laughs> cool was that, dude? <laughs> 
She came right here. They're explosive today. Yeah, have fun with your small pike. I'm gonna catch the grandma <laughs> of the, that one on this yeah. slow retrieve soon. This stinger system that works great when the pike are not eating it like crazy. They're just swallowing the whole thing, man. But another one. That's a really good tip when you, if you have problem releasing your pike, if you have fought it for a little bit too long or whatever, you can just throw them in head first. Uh, that's actually a really good way. It might look a bit violent, but it is not because the pike goes down and uh, instantly gets oxygen in their gills. And uh, for me, it has worked perfect. Yeah, they, they realize that they're free. They realize no that they're them. free much better than if you just release it slowly. Both ways works just fine. Now we're gonna make it 3 1 to fast retrieve. You already have a 3 1. 4 1. Yeah, exactly. But we're not, I'm not really seeing any size here. And I wouldn't be too surprised uh, if it turns out that slow retrieve gets a big fish in the end of the day, but the faster one gets a whole lot of fish. Ah! Uh, changing time! Time to change! No more fast retrieving for me. All right, so the first hour has passed and it's 3-1 to fast retrieve. I have been really lucky for the last hour, but Pontus alarm just went off and that means that it's time for me to go over to ultra mega super slow retrieve. So I have been fishing this with one weight and now we're replacing that with a plastic one instead because we're fishing a pretty big really shallow bay. So now we're sliding away the weight and we're just putting that one in there just like that. What we're doing then is putting back the stinger. It's sort of on a uh, fast attachment pulling boom. So simple, so easy, so effective. So let's go, blaster shad ultra slow. So I'm also gonna change now to another color suited better, better suited for murky water. Look at this one, fire tiger baby. And now when I'm gonna fish super fast, I'm just gonna put one of these plastic ones in here and fill her up with no less than three of these uh, heavy weights. Just look at this Mila. Oh my god, dude. Can I smoke him? All right, so fast retrieve. I've been longing for this now when Mila have been catching them on the fast retrieve. Since we have perfect conditions, these pikes should be feeding, which they're obviously doing. And then it's great to be, you know, covering as much water as possible, which you can do with a fast retrieve. So let's go. There we go, fast retrieve. All the way Heart in tip. there. Fire tiger, baby. Ah. Jesus, I have no idea if this is a big one or not, but that take was crazy. On the fast retrieve, man. Ah, it's a small one. Tiny pike. You do that yourself. Yeah. Look how she, ah, we got some weed as well. That's why it was heavy. So fast retrieve, bright colors. Seem to get those small guys going. And perfectly hooked. They're freaking crazy. Since I never felt the take on my first pike, it feels like this one is the first because <laughs> this take was so cool. And again, perfectly, perfectly, perfectly hooked. This is shaping up to be quite a clear difference, actually. 4 1, fast retrieve. So cool. So easy to unhook. Perfect. Get her back to the water. Yeah. Quick release on this girl. Goodbye, girl. <laughs> Here so she goes. Fast. So there she goes. Fast. Nice one, dude. Boom. If your first official pike of the day. Yeah, fishing it with heavy weights, really fast, you know, twitching and stopping and, you know, just giving the straight retrieve, whatever, doesn't matter, but they are biting so hard. Fish on! Oh, might be a little bit better. Slightly better, at least. Whoa! Two casts later, what is that? <laughs> yeah, another super hard take. I can't believe how they're smoking these guys. Look at that, that's a nice pike. Whoa. Oh, that's a nice pike, dude. Yeah, it's chunky. There we go. Oh man, they're getting bigger at least. And I mean, fast retrieve is really making a it's difference the, today. It's the, it's, it's the difference It's today. a big difference actually. Back she goes, back our lures go down into the water and uh, Let's continue in the name of science. Oh, 
not a huge one. <laughs> Damn, how she was trying to smoke this one. <laughs> oh. Another one like the previous one I caught, maybe 80 or something. Yeah. Slam this one right by the boat. <laughs> Holy shit. I think I may have underestimated the importance of, you know, retrieval speed. May it be, you know, the importance to reel slow, but now it's the importance to reel fast. Look when I get a pike now. No, oh man! <laughs> like a pro. <laughs> Look when I can't get a pike now. That was sick. There we go! <laughs> pike number 6-1, right? Yeah. Merci pour le projet. Le fight, Tiger. Salut! Oh! Hour two up. Yep, two hours in and we have six one. So you have three fish this hour, I have zero fish this hour. Yep. This is this actually turning out rather rather interesting, dude? Yeah. What are we doing now, Mille? Now, since we got out a little late today, it's lunch time. So now we do what defines Team Heimat out on the water. We're gonna go in, we're gonna set up a fire and cook a delicious lunch. So we got a little fire going here. We got the North Silver anchored up over here. And uh, now it's uh, high mot lunch time. So the first thing we do is chop up some shallots. Tip of the day, use your tackle boxes if you don't have a cutting board. Yeah. Because cutting boards are for losers. Yes. Or well prepared. <laughs> Same thing. Building a ring of garlic bread around this stuff. We're not there yet, but I'm lo looking forward to the day when these uh, cameras can give you the, the scent experience as well. Yeah, because this yeah. stuff smells so good. Let's not drop this one. No, let's not drop that one. <laughs> this is some precious stuff right here. <clears throat> okay, time to eat. This stuff is what makes you know slow fishing days better. But when you had a good day as well, fishing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Garlic bread, mm. the mules. Mm. Reading this like caveman. My first mul. Mm. Tanner Gratis, Master Chef Mille Petterson did it again. On a side note, we were out yesterday filming another challenge which you can check out up here. And that lunch was a little bit more exciting than this lunch. There's not much mules left over there, man. No, empty stuff. That was damn good. <laughs> and now we are so ready to catch some more pike. So lunch break's over. And we're going after the big pike. So now we're switching to the little bit bigger size. This was the previous size. Now we're going for some big pike. Yeah, we have 13 versus 16 centimeters. Yeah, and that's a pretty big difference actually. And now we're uh, switching off a little bit. We're trying a little deeper weed line. We have around five and a half meters over here, still almost 13 degrees in the water. So now I'm gonna take these four weights and put them in. So just put them in one by one until we have enough weight so that we're satisfied. And then just snap the stinger right back in. Boom, baby. Now you're doing the fast and I'm gonna do the ultra slow and I'm also changing up in the size. So I'm gonna do this, uh, I think it's called a khaki color, kind of kiwi base, dark brown thing. Looks amazing. And I'm also going full weight. Yeah, and so. I, I, just, I just love uh, the colors, uh, the pearl color especially. So, yeah. so easy, but yet so effective. Yeah, so one hour on the timer, starting now. Let's go. Ooh, la bamba, next hour is coming up. Yep, 
One hour with no action whatsoever. We've been exploring some spots. Back to the weed line. I'm gonna, we're gonna keep rocking these big lures and I'm gonna go over to this big fire tiger version. I'm gonna fill her up with, let's make it three of those heavyweights. But it's been a long time now without fish. I mean, we had a lunch and we had one hour without fish. So, I mean, maybe the mood have changed. Yeah. Autumn, so maybe they want to slow one now. But now let's try Blaster Shad 16 centimeter fire tiger. Let's go, ultra fast. This feels so good. Haven't done this in two hours. I'm so ready to start setting the hook now again. <laughs> this is a very, very small one. Yay! 6-2, <laughs> I think. Can't uh, stress enough how important a good hookout is. Otherwise, both this pike and my fingers would be in bad shape. And now we both made it out safely. We're gonna thank this little girl. She at least keeps our hope up. There are some fish around here and the big blaster shot do work. Nice. <laughs> that one is crazy. I think that pike must be sort of worried swimming around here because we know that there are much bigger fish here. <laughs> oh man, that was a cool take. <laughs> My first pike in a long, long while. <laughs> Whoa, the wind is picking up a lot now. There we go, big blaster shad, fire tiger, small pike, back you go. Heavy! Is it? Feels heavy. Careful take. Hey, it's coming it's... along pretty easy, right? No, no freaking shakes or anything. I'm gonna get myself ready with the net just in case. Yes, please. Im imagine if this is the one, man. Ah, uh, not really. But that's 8-2, eight to, eight to, so that's pipe uh, number 10 of the day. Yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. There we go, look at that. Another fire tiger eater, look at that. This girl felt heavy in the beginning. Didn't do much at all. Light is coming down fast, but the pike are still fighting. All right, pike, back you go. It's getting dark now, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> She's just disappearing. Yeah. So team Heimat are out of the water yeah. once again. Signing out. We are signing out after <laughs> one heck of a day out on the archipelago. Yeah, and challenge wise this has been extremely exciting. We yeah, both this thought is... that you know low speed would cut it, but it didn't. You got it exactly my dude. This was actually a rather strange one wasn't it? Yeah, so uh, what's the score? High speed retrieve got what? I think eight or nine? Yeah, eight or nine pike and while the, while the super slow retrieve only caught two pike today. Yeah, so that's another really, really interesting result. And it is worth fishing super fast, even though the water temperatures are going down. Yes, like we said, we might want to redo this in even colder water. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you want to see that, and then we might see a fully different result. But when we still have those fairly, you know, not ultra cold temps, uh, don't, f don't uh, forget to try to speed up sometimes because yeah. that might trigger the bite exactly these blaster shads have been a l <laughs> they've been a blast to fish with <laughs> um, yeah we're for sure gonna bring them again they were actually actually really cool to fish with yeah and perfect for this challenge since you can fine tune them perfectly depending on if you want to fish fast or slow yeah. shallow or deep or however you want to do them yeah perfect size for you know for big fish for action and yeah, you, you can fail using yeah. these guys. And we love working with innovative companies like Fish that invents stuff like that. Yeah, they're actually a super cool company. I don't know how many people they are working there full time, but they no. have like four different lures. Yeah, they five. have very few. They have very few models, but every model is like super, super, 
super well yeah. well thought. They add a new one like every second year or so. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, this is it for Yeah, for so this check this out in our e-commerce www.kanalgratis.se. Now we need to get the boat up. Yeah, so uh, thanks a lot for watching this uh, spicy piece of science brought to you by Team Heimat. We've had a lot of fun. That lunch was epic and uh, yeah, there's nothing more yeah. to add to that. Now we're going to take the boat up. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you back next week. Yes, we do that. Take care. Ciao. Ciao.